We are a family of six who call the ocean our home. We feel incredibly blessed to be doing this life together as a young family, embracing the ups and downs of what is a life at sea. This is our floating home, Happy Days, and you are invited to follow along as we share this incredible adventure. Have a laugh and be inspired to pursue a life less ordinary. Click the subscribe button to keep up to date as we see where this journey takes us. In the last episode, you left us taking off the boat here. This episode, we head to Loreto and Isla Coronado. So we have just come into Loreto. Ted is uh, doing running repairs and splinting the pram that we bought uh, in Mexicali. And Pip is walking, but not like heaps far. Good sure. luck, there's our boat. Oi. There's happy days. Welcome to Loreto. We explore this charming town on the Baja Peninsula, which boasts a mission church from the late 1600s, cobblestone streets, and being the very first Spanish colonial city on the peninsula. Today though, we're here to visit the hospital for an x-ray for Pippi, before we explore the stunning Isla Coronado, the UNESCO World Heritage National Park area. Come and check it all out with us. We are currently sitting at the front of a hospital in Loreto, hoping to get a, an x-ray of Pip's arm and leg as a, as a checkup, four week checkup. No, it's like longer than that. Four weeks since the last checkup. Yeah. And uh, there's vultures circling around, sort of, I'll show you. Mum's in there with Pip. Yeah. We're, we're out here. <laughs> At least we got some breeze. Yeah. Pip, you're in the hospital in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> the community yeah. hospital in yeah. Loreto. Yeah, which is in the desert. In the desert. And we just walked here about 40 minutes in the hot sun <laughs> to get some x rays. <laughs> Just some x-rays. Some x-rays. Hopefully that show us that the bone's growing back really it's well. Not, it's not as long as like four hours. Mm. But we didn't, we didn't have to wait long. No. So your x-ray experience here in Loreto? Well they took us straight through, popped around the thing, took our x-rays and gave us a CD and let us take photos on the computer so that I can send them to the doctor back in Mexicali. And in your professional opinion, how are the x-rays looking? There's a lot of bone growing on those bones. More bones? More bones. Are you, we should weigh you, you probably weigh more. <laughs> so very good, very good. All right, so I was like sitting in for a couple of hours. Going, uh, this they, is... they were very efficient. Not very often we do this, but right now, wait for it. Hey, look at that! Lunch with a view and poker. Much longer, What do you reckon? It's a pretty good view. <laughs> Company's awesome. After lunch, we moved the short seven nautical miles up to Isla Coronado. What did you just say? It is beautiful. 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 It's straight to the color of the water. It's, it's lovely.
I'm definitely seeing monkey vibes. trying to read it in Spanish and then realized that it's in English as well. But let's go. Going at Pip's pace, and she's leading us, and she just got a big fright because there was a snake on the track. Hey, sweetie, was it in the bush? I think it might have crossed the track. Across the track. Okay. So you think it might be in the bush? Yeah, we don't want to hurt him, but we don't want to have him hurt us either. Good stomping team.
have a break here. Yep. We don't often double back. double back or admit defeat, but walking on this stuff is brutal. And there was still a fair bit of that to go before we even got to walk up the hill. And we're also supporting Pip today, aren't we? Yeah. So I think we might save our next big walk for when Pip can walk. Yeah, so we're gonna have a little break here, take in the view and enjoy this beautiful anchorage that we've got all to ourselves. Oh, did I mention that it's hot? <laughs> In the next episode, we arrive in La Paz to start our rigging replacement. But it's still summertime and we're suddenly faced with Hurricane Pamela and some tough decisions. Make sure you don't miss it. Hi guys, hit subscribe and ring the bell. Head over to our Patreon page and show your support. Thanks heaps for watching. Earlier tonight, we had the blue lights underneath our boat, the underwater lights on, and we were having a blast. We've just said goodnight to Archie. And we're like, mate, you smell a bit like fish. And there's all these little fish swimming around the blue lights, and that got stuck in his dreads. Oh, most school kids have to deal with and nets, look, look, but look, he's look. got a whole fish. Oh. Alright, you wanna go and have a good scrub? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so funny.